All right, we are on to part two of BFBB modding with industrial parks. So in this video, we will cover a bit more advanced level editing. So before it showed you how to move stuff around, how to change how platforms act, where this one turns more, this balloon moves all over the place. But we can go into a little bit more advanced stuff now. I'm sure basic platforms, you know, this is kind of boring. So now we can start doing robots and how to spawn robots, make them attack you. And even bringing in our own robots. So first, I usually like to have a new layer here whenever I make changes so I can find those changes easily. So you'll click edit, organize the layers. And now all of those layer 11 will be layer zero. And I like to just click add a new layer. So now anything new I add, I can find it very easily. I don't have to scroll through a big list. If you do know the name of something, you can type like water and this will tell you all the stuff, but I just like having it separate. So we have a thing called a template and these are just they're like pre-made things for you, pretty much. So there's a bunch of different ones. Like these can control how levels work. These you can place and they're used for other things. But this one, we're going to place down some enemies, some tiki's and whatever. So we do template, whatever game you're playing. So we'll do BFBB. And let's say we want to place down some tiki's. We'll click wooden tiki. And if you click, you right click, it doesn't do anything. So you have to give template focus, which places it in this file. And then you have to hold shift and right click and it'll place it. So now we have some tiki's, seven of them. Let's say we want to have a little mini game thing where if you break all seven tiki's you will get a reward so now we need to have a counter and counters just keep count of a number and whenever it reaches a certain point or if it reaches zero you can cause things to happen so we have seven tiki's we're going to have seven on the counter and now we're going into events so events are a way to control the game. They're a way to activate things, deactivate things, cause a bunch of different stuff to happen. So for this, we're gonna use expired, which means when this hits zero, it will cause something to happen. And we want collision visible on, which will mean it will have collision and it'll be visible too. And we don't have any object placed yet. So we're just gonna click okay. And if we click here, we'll see that it's stayed. So now we should get our reward. We can go into the template, go to BFBB pickups, and let's say we want a, I don't know, a blue shiny object. We place one of those down. And as you see, there is no shiny object. We have to actually load a file, which is gonna have the shiny objects. So we'll go back to the BFBB folder desktop bfbb files and you'll look for boot.hip right here and you'll just drag that on and then close this now our shiny object shows up and we can see it so now you can just close out of this just clicking the x you, we don't need to see that and we can go back into our regular thing you're able to resize these by the way if it's like too big or too small you can resize them how you want I think you can move this stuff too. Like you don't need asset ID or even size for the most part. So you can just hide those if you want. If you have like a one screen setup, I have two screens, but for recording, I'm just using this one. So we have our shiny object and let's say we want us want it to give us more money out of it. We'll go into the events, otherwise known as the links in the editor. And we'll add a link. When we pick this up, you can either scroll through, you can type it, it doesn't matter. It will give 
shiny objects to SpongeBob. And we have an argument. So now this will give us shiny objects, but it's going to give us zero because this first number is zero. So we can have this give a hundred shiny objects on top of their amount it already gives. So this will give spun or shiny objects to SpongeBob when it is picked up in the amount of a hundred. So we'll click OK. And we want this to not be visible at first. So we'll click on this. We'll set visible to false. And pickups are a little weird. So you have to go down to the pickup section specifically. And you'll want to do pickup flags initially visible false. And now the shiny object won't appear in game, but we don't have a way to make it appear like our counter. Click here, it tells you all the different types. It will make the shiny object appear, but we don't have a way to make this to go to zero yet. So each of these tiki's we can add the event to. So we can do when the tiki is killed, which is called death. This will decrement, which means it makes it go down. The opposite is increment. These are like right beside each other. So control off, control on, increment, decrement open close a lot of these are directly beside each other tilt on tilt so decrement means it goes down and we type counter and it automatically fills it in for us if we click on it and we can copy this event and we could paste it as many times as you want but we want this for each tiki so we could do this and this is a lot of work, just opening and closing. And there's a way to actually not do this. So we can do that. We've done three of these. So I'm going to delete our tiki's. We'll copy this, make sure it's copied. Or you can click duplicate and just manually move it around. And if we click on edit, this will already have it. So if you want to just duplicate it, you're not moving it very far. You can just do that. But if you copy it and then you go to a template on here and go to this bottom one paste clipboard now whatever is copied will just be pasted down so we have 10 tiki's i will update our number to 10. and then i need to update this to give us our shiny object so I do not remember the name of this, so we can go back. Shiny blue 01. If you click edit header, this gives you a bunch of different stuff. You're able to rename your object. So I can do reward. Or I could do tiki reward. And then you click OK. And now it will be renamed. And now we can go into the link or the event. We type in Tiki reward. And then we go back, we can click save. If you're tired of clicking this, there's a hotkey up here called save all hips F4. So if you press F4, it should save it for you. And now we can go over and test to see if our little ah. mini game challenge works. So here's all of our tiki's. Oh no. Our blue shiny object does not appear. Ah. And there it is. And whenever you pick it up, you get a hundred additional shiny objects. So that's your first little challenge or whatever.